So now that we've understood what the underlying root cause for diabetes and other modern day metabolic disease is, let us now try to understand what is the current state of affairs and why has the conventional ecosystem not managed to solve the problem. Every third adult in the world has a metabolic disorder or will get one soon. And unfortunately, people are now getting it at younger and younger ages. In India, for example, of the 1.4 billion people, anywhere between 300 to 400 million people have a metabolic disorder, including diabetes. And globally, in the 7 to 8 billion people that we are, about a billion of those suffer from the disease today. And very quickly, it is heading towards a 2 billion mark. Given the humongous size of the people that have this problem, there is a large marketplace in multiple players trying to help address this. Be it pharma giants, be it nutritional supplements, be it hospitals and practitioners and medical devices, etc. All of them are thriving in the size of the opportunity. If things continue the way they are, unfortunately, all of us will end up eating more medicines than real food. The problem statement that everybody has defined itself is wrong. No wonder the solutions don't work. The solution is obviously to solve for the root cause. If we symptomatically address glucose toxicity, then obviously what we are told about diabetes being chronic and progressive is true. Once you get it, it doesn't go away and over time it slowly gets worse. It is only if we focus on insulin toxicity and not glucose toxicity does the problem go away and your underlying metabolism get better and the problem get reversed. Unfortunately, the entire ecosystem is solving for the symptom of glucose toxicity and the underlying problem of insulin toxicity or insulin resistance is not getting solved.